This video walks you through setting up the most common user preferences for a beginning AutoCAD student working on a Mac. Let's get started. Open the blank drawing in AutoCAD you've been provided for this tutorial. At the command line, type Options, Enter. Or you can go to the pull-down menu entitled AutoCAD Settings. On the left-hand navigation band of the AutoCAD Mac settings, let's start on the General tab. Under Mouse and Trackpad Customization, I recommend that beginners uncheck Enable Quick Secondary Click as Return Key. AutoCAD uses the Right Mouse Click feature to assist your workflow through the use of many menu options. Some AutoCAD users prefer the right click to be programmed to repeat the last command instead. I don't recommend this for beginners. Use the Enter Return key on your keyboard instead. The Enter Return key on your keyboard will also repeat the last command. Leave the option for Reverse Zoom Direction unchecked until you start working with the mouse in AutoCAD. This setting is good unchecked for the magic mouse. If you feel that it's counterintuitive with the corded mouse, then you can come back to the setting and check this box later. The next section programs the spacebar on your keyboard. Check Enable Spacebar Hold to Pan. This is a pretty standard feature in most software applications on the Mac. This is not a feature offered on the PC in AutoCAD. PC users have to hold down the middle mouse roller button instead to use the pan. Make sure display viewport controls is checked. The graphics section coordinates the computer's graphics card. Leave this unless you have an OpenGL graphics card installed. It is up to you if you prefer to have product notifications pop up during your work session. I typically keep this feature unchecked. On the right hand column, I recommend having your file autosave every 10 minutes. The file save feature is worth explaining. Under this pull down menu, you will see which file format you're saving your AutoCAD file to. And in this case, although I'm working in AutoCAD 2025, the most recent file format that is saved is AutoCAD 2018. So any file you work on that has been saved from AutoCAD version 2018 through 2025 is actually saved in the same file format, which is AutoCAD 2018. If you are sharing files with a colleague or contractor that's working in a file format older than 2018, or if they're using AutoCAD Lite, you will have to make a copy of your DWG file and save it to the file format that the recipient of the file has in order for them to open the file on their end. It is also worth pointing out that if you're sharing the AutoCAD file with a colleague that is using a drafting software program other than Autodesk AutoCAD, the generic file format is .dxf. I never recommend changing your file saving preferences here to anything other than the default. You can always make a copy of the file you're working on and save it as a different file type. The last item on this tab is the layout elements. This refers to the paper space settings. I recommend that beginning AutoCAD students have both of these features checked. Check Create Viewports in New Layouts and check Show Page Setup Manager. Drawing your attention back to the left-hand navigation band, Pick on the Cursor and Selection tab. On this tab, make sure not to check Use Shift Key to Add to Selection. This tends to be very confusing if checked for beginners. I recommend setting the crosshairs length between 8 and 10%. The object snap aperture size in my videos is set to 10 pixels, and the pickaxe size between 6 and 10 pixels. The auto snap marker is set to the fourth slider from the left mark in my videos. Another important feature for beginners that I think should be considered is to uncheck the allow press and drag for lasso feature. This selection method is very difficult to utilize as a beginner learning AutoCAD. I recommend using the selection boxes 
and grips before trying to tackle using the lasso selection tools. Moving down the right hand column of this tab, next check the box entitled Command Preview. In the next setting, make sure that the following boxes are checked. Check Enable Grips. Check Enable Grips with Blocks. Check Enable Grips Tips. Because enabling grips takes a lot of memory, I recommend limiting how many grips you can see in a drawing to 100 selected objects. I prefer to keep the grip size small to 5 pixels. Moving down the left-hand navigation band, I next draw your attention to the Units and Guides tab. For the insertion scale options, be sure that Source Content Units and Target Drawing Unit are both set to inches. On the right-hand side of the screen, under Auto Track Settings, check the following options. Check Display Polar Tracking Vector. Check Display Full Screen Tracking Vector. Check Display Auto Track Tooltip. Moving down the right side of this page options, under Drawing Scale, retain the default scales list. And under Fields, make sure Display Background of Fields remains checked. Drawing your attention back to the left-hand navigation band, pick on the Look and Feel tab. This is where you can get some of the color settings for the visual look of AutoCAD Mac. There are limited customization options on the Mac, but are worth exploring here. Most of the videos in this course for the Mac are shown in a dark theme, but a cream or dark gray background in model space and a white or navy blue paper space background is occasionally shown in the videos. I have selected background colors based on what I think shows up best in videos. However, you should customize the colors to fit your visual comfort levels. AutoCAD is visually intensive as you're working with hundreds of lines and minute details. Over time, you'll dial in the color preferences that make your workflow in AutoCAD more comfortable and hopefully will create the least amount of strain on your vision. Drawing your attention back to the left-hand navigation band, pick on the Application tab. This tab helps you better understand how AutoCAD Mac is organized and where to find specific features. You will learn more about these features in the Intermediate and Advanced classes. For now, the most important item on this tab is to point out the location of the Automatic Save file. You will need to know where to find your autosave file should the DWG file in AutoCAD crash and close on you in the middle of a work session. This is not as problematic on AutoCAD Max as it tends to be in AutoCAD PC, but it's worth pointing out. Locate the automatic save file location folder and pick on it to expand. You can see on my screen where the files will automatically be saved which is in a file folder on the local hard drive under Documents, Autodesk, Autosave. Drawing your attention to the final tab on the left-hand navigation band, pick on Document Settings. For now, take note of these settings on my screen. These are the basic settings which will work fine until you need to make changes. Setting these preferences to appear smoother will tax your graphics card unnecessarily in the first two levels of AutoCAD. This concludes the video on assigning Mac AutoCAD preferences.